In this episode, we'll be working on the dado to accept the bottom panel of the drawers. To run the dado in these pieces, I'll be using the 1400 router, the edge guide, and the Vaxis. The bit I'm gonna be using is a half inch down cut spiral bit for all the dados in the large drawers. The perfectly straight edge that I accomplished with the TSC 55 and the parallel guides will give me a good straight edge to reference my edge guide off of, which will in turn give me a perfectly straight dado. Before we install the edge guide on the 1400, I wanna go ahead and switch out the bit to that half inch bit. This is one of my favorite features on the OF 1400 is the collet change. You only need one wrench. We have a ratcheting collet. So to take the collet out, I just press on the down arrow. And there's a second stop in there. It's a safety stop. So once you break it loose that first time, you'll loosen that collet a couple turns and you'll feel it snug up again. That just keeps that collet from loosening up too much over time. Then I put the other bit in get it finger snug, and then push the ratcheting collet with the up arrow. And I like having it in this position, so when I go to tighten it, I can actually use the leverage of the handle and just snug it up. Don't over tighten the collet. If you over tighten the collet, the next time you have to tighten that collet, you're gonna have to tighten it even more and more and more, and over time, you won't be able to tighten it enough. So just snug it up, and then you're good to go. Now I can attach the edge guide. First thing I'll need are the guide rods. These guide rods come with the OF 1400 router. If you don't think you have them, look again. They're the same color as the liner in the sustainer. Sometimes they blend in. First, I just slide them into the grooves here. I usually like to offset them because it's easier to get the edge guide on at that point. And then just tighten down this one cam lock and that locks both the rods. Now I can attach the edge guide to the guide rods. Just slide it on like that. And I'll just get it close for now, tighten down the thumb screws. And then once I get my material clamped down, I can fine tune that adjustment. The last adjustment I'm gonna do to the edge guide is actually close off these two guide strips. What these are for is if I'm using a edge forming bit that doesn't have a bearing, I can open these up so they're not cutting into the, the bit itself. But since I'm gonna be in on the material, I can close these up and get a lot more surface area touching the edge guide. Now I've got one long solid strip torn up against my plywood. So now I'm pretty well set up for that dado. You can see I've got a nice long guide strip to reference off my material. But if I was gonna do a rabbit, and that bit would be hitting that plastic and I wouldn't be able to get my full rabbit. So I can open up those two pieces of plastic slide the edge guide over just a little bit more, and I still have good reference area off the edge of my material. So when I built this MFT3 rolling cart in the previous build series, I built this little notch so that when I use the Vaxis on any of my material, it can reference off of here. So for longer pieces, I've got support here while the Vaxis clamps it down in place. So for laying out this dado, I like to keep it simple. I'll use the metric system. I know that I'm using a 12 millimeter bit, which is about half inch. And I want the bottom of that dado to be 12 millimeters up from the bottom of my drawer. So if I wanna find the center of that dado, I know it's 12 millimeters plus half of 12, which is six, equals 18 millimeters. I can draw that center line in 18 millimeters, line that center line up with the center line on the router, and know that it'll be exactly 12 millimeters from the bottom of my drawer. Now with everything laid out on my board, I can do my course adjustments just by kind of eyeballing it, getting it close. And I'll tighten up these thumb screws. Now to micro adjust it, I loosen this large knob on top and I can twist this green dial, which will get my center line lined up perfectly with the router. And then just tighten that down. Now we can set the depth. Depth is very easy to set up on any of the Festool routers. First thing I wanna do is just bottom it out so that bit is actually touching the material. Twist the locking knob, and then I wanna loosen all these up, push them down so they're touching one of the posts on the turret, zero everything out. Now I know that I wanna go down 12 millimeters, which means I wanna raise this up 12 millimeters. Now, the scale on this router is imperial, so I wanna go metric, so I'll actually take two six millimeter domino tenons Put those in between the shaft and the post. I know that's exactly 12 millimeters. I can lock that down. Now I can go down 
12 millimeters into my plywood. So with everything set up, I can go ahead and knock out all the dados for the large drawers. So with all the short sides done, we can move over to the large sides. You may have noticed that not all the dust was captured on a couple of those, and that's because I started the dado from the very end and I ran it all the way out to the other end, basically creating a chute for that dust to run down. Also, the bit that I'm using is a downcut spiral bit to counteract the chip out. So the dust extraction plus the bit, we're fighting each other, but I'll show you on these other two where I'll plunge here I'll run the data all the way out, and then I'll come back and get that last little piece, and then I'll collect almost all the data. So as you can see, by creating that dam, essentially, the dust didn't shoot out that way. It stayed in the dado, but now when I come back, it'll suck up all that dust, and I can finish off that last little piece. The process I follow when I'm building drawer boxes is I create the box first, then I'll double check the measurements for the drawer bottoms. If you want to continue with the build, click here or check this out. Don't forget to subscribe. If you want to be notified when we upload new content, click that notification bell.